guys you're welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by today trust me you don't want to miss hitting on that subscribe button guys you're welcome and in this channel i share sewing tutorial videos and pattern drafting and in today's tutorial guys i'll be sharing with you all how to make this beautiful halter neck play suit so you can see how nicely this is looking on me already so guys if you want to learn how to do all of this the drafting and the sewing continue watching and do not skip any part of this video tell much ado i'll just get started okay, so guys all the required measurements are here displayed on the screen so here is the pattern paper that i'm working with guys firstly i'm going to start by drafting a basic bodies so so at the top area i'm going to mark half of an inch right there and that's going to be my shoulder line the next i'll divide my shoulder of 14 inches into two i'll mark a point right there and from that point i'm going to mark eight inches and this eight inches is going to serve as my armhole so i'm going to connect these two points from my shoulder line down to this eight inches point i made right here and also extend this other part so i'll get the mid point of this eight inches and i'll come in by half of an inch and on that part label cl which is my chest line i'm going to divide my bust circumference of 38 inches into four and i have nine and a half inches i made a point right there using my cuff drill i'm just going to connect my armhole just this way so i'll come now to mark my half length of 16 inches and also add half of an inch for joining allowance so i'm going to use my straight lash to connect these points together After this, I'll go ahead and label my waistline and my allowance. So the next is to mark my bust point, which I skipped previously, which is of 10 inches. So I've gone ahead now to mark it and also use my ruler to connect it into a straight line. So at that top area now, I'm just going to go ahead now to measure my neck circumference, okay? So my neck circumference is 16 inches, okay? So that's what I have there. So I went ahead to divide this into 4 inch 4. So from the from that part i'm going to mark two and a half inches remember this is on fold by the time i open this up it's going to come to five inches okay so for the neck depth i went ahead to mark three inches so with my ruler i'm going to make a straight line like this and also mark down my two and a half inches so this three inches is for it not to be choking on my neck so on my waistline i went ahead to divide my waist circumference into four and what i had i went ahead to connect it to my chest line just like this so i proceeded to also add in one inch and quarter for my stitching allowance the quarter is because i'm going to turn this over with my lining so that i can use the quarter for stitching so guys this is it for the front part and from that two and a half inches i marked i'm just simply going to connect it into my chest line just like this and after that i'll go ahead and cut this out guys so for the neck of this dress i urge you to please give it a bit curve at the neck area please slant it a bit a bit curve the normal way we curve our neckline just a bit okay so having done this now i'm working for the back part of this our dress i went ahead to mark half of an inch and this half of an inch is going to be my zip allowance so after that i went ahead to bring my front drafted bodies and placed it on top of this my back dress i'm drafting and on the zipper area i went ahead to give it my zipper slanting if you've been with me on this channel for a while you understand what i'm doing right here on the zipper area so guys after that i'll go ahead and cut out everything the same way and the same shape and size i size the zip area which which gave it a little difference from the front part so i removed the front part of this my dress and went ahead to cut out for my zipper slanting so i've gone ahead now to label this as my back and as my front as well so the next thing i'm going to proceed now to do is to draft my my the the, the down part of my of my place which is the short okay so i'll get started now by marking half of an inch and this half of an inch is going to serve as my joining allowance because if you remember very well while drafting the bodies i added half of an inch for joining allowance so now from the edge of my paper i'm just going to mark three inches from the beginning part of this paper to the very end of which i'm going to use my ruler to connect this into a straight line after marking my three inches 
so having done this guys i'm just going to subtract my half length from this full length of this place which i'm working with which is 32 inches so i'm subtracting 16 inches from there and now i have 17 inches meaning that the length of this my short is going to be 17 inches so having explained that i went ahead to divide my waist circumference of 33 inches into four and i went ahead to mark it and quarter please watch well and you notice that all my measurements are starting from this line and not from the edge of my paper i went ahead to mark my hip length of 9 inches and also my crotch length of 12 inches you all already know how to get your crotch length sit on this flat surface and take the measurement from your waist up to the flat surface so i went ahead to mark my trouser my short length sorry and also add two inches for hemming allowance extending all these lines with my stretch ruler i'll go ahead now and label all of these lines which i've already marked out here so you don't get confused guys So having done this now, I'll just go ahead and come to my hip line, which is the line label HL I just pointed. I divided my hip of 42 inches into 4 and I'm going to mark what I have right there which is 10 and a half inches. So having marked that now, I'm going to just simply connect from my waistline down to my hip line. So guys you can see now so whatever i have on my hip line i'm just going to bring that line down to my crotch line that line which i'm extending now i love it crotch is my crotch line so i'm just going to bring this down to my crotch line just like this so guys watch carefully both the placement of my ruler and how i'm doing this to get this perfectly guys so after this now i'll go ahead now to take my tie measurement that's my tie circumference of 28 inches guys so i'm going to divide this into two and not into four okay just the places i divided it into four is on my hip line and my waistline but on my crotch line line sorry i'm going to divide into two and that is my tie circumference so i went ahead to add an additional paper to this because it's my crotch my tie divided into two exceeded it which is 14 inches so that's just what i did and that was the reason for the addition of the white paper so guys after this i went ahead to connect that to get to my 14 inches and from my crotch line i'm going on by 1.5 inches to get my curve So this is how to get your perfect curve for your trouser and on this my crotch length i'm on this my crotch line i'm going to take the measurement of everything i have there and divide it into two equal halves okay so right here i have seven inches and i'm just going to connect this into a straight line to meet other lines on this my um drafting shorts so the next thing i'm going to do is to come to my 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 short length that's my full length and i'm going to divide the circumference i have right there of 22 inches and i have 11 inches so the 11 inches i'm going to place the half of the 11 inches at the center line which i just marked and at both sides i'm going to mark um five and a half five and a half i hope you understand so simply like this i'm going to also repeat the exact thing on the allowance because it's meant to get up to my allowance so after that now i'm going ahead to just connect this this way and trust me guys we are done with the drafting of the front part of this our shorts so this is like one of the easiest and simplest method which you can use while drafting this so guys Go ahead and cut out every other thing the way it is no allowance should be added to the front part of this short because it's not needed guys so that is just simply it i'll go ahead now and cut out every other thing the exact way i drafted so after this now i went ahead to get another piece of another paper pattern paper sorry and i went ahead to also shift this inwardly so i have some spaces left at the front side of the crotch area because this is where all the allowances are going to be added right here so i went ahead to pin this my front shot drafted shot to the to this plain 
pattern paper I have right here so you can see that from that point from my crush area I went ahead to mark one one inch so I'm going to mark this one inch all the way up to my crotch length on my crotch line so from from underneath my crotch line i went ahead to mark two inches guys so for the top part i marked one inch and from from the crotch line downward i marked two inches but from the crotch line upward i marked one inch so if of course you saw what i did here clearly and you understand better okay so i'm trying to give this a better curve if you are not really good at giving this a curve with your ruler you can use your free hand if you are good at that as well so now i've explained this before in my previous tutorial on adding extra stitching or seam allowance at the hip side of these our shorts so to be on a safer side you can decide to add half of an inch if you're on a smaller size and if you're on a bigger size you can decide to add one inch but most times while drafting mine i do not add anything at the side okay but because i wanted this dress to be a bit free of me that was why i added this one inch normally i wouldn't have added anything at the side of my hip so if you're making this for yourself you can decide not to but if it's for a client you have to in order to be on a safer side okay so that is just all i did for this and i went ahead now to cut this out exactly the way that i've drafted So guys the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure that i extend all these lines to the back part of this my short because as i'm going to draft i also as i'm going to cut out on my fabric i have to notch all these necessary lines like my crotch line my hip line and my short length okay so that's the essence of me trying to extend the line to the back part of my um, of my shorts I don't know why i keep calling this trouser 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 but no this is a short a short pants okay so this is it and i'm going ahead to join all these lines together guys so you don't really need a lot of tutorial on this because this is very easy and one of the most simplest things you can ever draft so here's the fabric i'm working with and i've gone ahead to cut out this on my fabric and also on my lining piece guys as well so guys you can see i added half of an inch here and this is just simply it and if you are really interested to learn how to assemble all of this drafted piece together correctly please watch out for the second part of this tutorial thank you all for watching i really do appreciate it and again i also fixed a pocket to this so if this is what you want to learn if you want to know how to um how i arrived at this the whole of this process watch out for the part two because trust me why would there be any need for regrets of course there is no room for regret here guys because i give you guys the exact thing you're supposed to do and it's always perfect okay so guys thank you all for watching and if you have to subscribe kindly do so so you get updated when i upload the second part of this tutorial thank you and god bless you all a whole lot see you guys in the next video